We've got a box in the mail today. And this box is a box of pennies from Bo Palmer. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And first and foremost, I wanna thank Bo Palmer for trading me this box of pennies that's inside this priority box for one of my penny mats. Now I'll tell you, Bo had sent an email to me stating that he had gone to his bank and they had four boxes of customer wrapped pennies. Now, before we get all crazy about this box, keep in mind that he's already hunted two of them. And from what he has seen, they're pretty much just copper cents. I even mentioned it in one of my live streams. He said he's only found 10 wheat pennies in the two boxes he's hunted so far, but a lot of old, good looking 59 through 81 and some 82 copper cents that maybe I could check for some varieties. I highlighted the last sentence because this is exactly what I was looking for. Again, not many wheats, but lots of good coins to search for varieties. So I said, Bo, send me the box. I'd love to get in there. I don't know if we're gonna find much of anything in this box, but if I have a box of copper cents, that to me will make for a beautiful hunt. And Bo is in New York or in the Northeast and the Philadelphia minted coins have more of the varieties that I look for on my penny mat than the Denver minted ones do. That being said, we can't sit here and chit chat staring at a priority box. Let me crack open the top, pull the box out, and we'll take a look at what we got in some customer wrapped rolls. So I pulled the box of pennies out of the priority mailing box and I realized there was a note in there as well. And bottom line is Bo said he had fun searching the other boxes he got from the bank. Not many weeds, but some good varieties. Have fun and let me know how you did. About 50% of the rolls are copper, so that's a bonus. All right, that's some clarity because I didn't know if it was all copper or what percentage was, but even if only half the rolls are copper, that's cool. His other note did state though that there was no shield sense. Everything is pretty much before the shield sense were minted. Let's see if I get any shield sense. Let's see how much copper I get, but more importantly, let's see if we get any good varieties. Let me crack open this top. We'll get one last look at the rolls as they sit in the box, and then we'll get to hunting. The seal is broken, and here's what we got. Gotta love these customer wrap rolls. All kinds of mixtures of different ones here. The darker red ones, the more brick red ones, and then the old style wrappers as well. Man, I'm looking forward to getting in there. I wonder if they wrapped them all at the same time or if they had wrapped them over the years. I guess we'll know as we go through the rolls if there's a good mix of different years inside the rolls. That would tell the story. Either way, I'm excited to get this hunt started. I'm pretty much foaming at the mouth, hoping we get some wheat scents, but most importantly, hoping we get some nice shiny copper and or a variety or two. I'll bring you in on my first find. We're on roll number one and I still have about two thirds, maybe half the roll left but the first find is gonna be a Canadian, a 1975. I will say now, because this box is from New York, we're probably gonna find a lot of Canadians, but I wanted to show you my first find, but I'm only gonna show the Canadians if they are the Laureate Portrait of Verses and older, basically the Younghead 1964 and earlier in the years. I'll show that one since it's our first find, and I will mention that we are finding a lot of pretty nice copper in here, albeit most of it's from the 80s. But take a look at these. We got three stunners on the scale, but they're all zinc. Anyway, we'll go through this roll. If I find something else, I'll bring in. Otherwise, we'll continue with the hunt. It's not a find, but I'm just bringing in early because I am finding four or five 1984 fillies in these rolls in this type of condition. And I'll tell you right now, if I get a doubled ear like these, that would be crazy. Look at the condition of this 84. It's almost like it was literally rolled up the day it was found or given back in change. I can't keep them all because there's no reason to keep them all, but I'm going to put a couple of the best aside and uh, see if they upgraded my album or if any are worthy of a submission. This one does have a slight scratch in front of his face near the rim below T. So probably not a submitter, but unbelievable. All right, let's get back to the hunt. I just want to show you that because if we find an 84 DDO double deer in that condition, that would be epic. We're on roll 10 of the box. We've got three 59s and four Canadians so far and definitely more copper than zinc. 
But I bring in because we got our first wheat scent of the hunt, and it's a 52 Philadelphia in not that bad a shape. And while I have you here, I'll tell you the 80s and early 90s coins look fantastic. 70s and 60s are a mix, and the post-1999 ones look brand new for the most part. And then, of course, we got ones like that as well. I'll bring you in on my next find. Roll 16 of the customer wrapped rolls box and we've got our second find. It's been not very many finds. Haven't found any varieties yet. A lot of nice older copper cents, but we will have a dime and we will make nine cents. And it's just a 77, but it's in pretty good shape. We'll take it out at the top of the board and uh, keep looking. We're on roll number 22 and we're actually gonna get our second wheat scent of the customer wrapped rolls box. Doesn't look too bad. 1952 Philly again. Two wheat cents, both from 52. We're on roll 31, and we're gonna have our third wheat scent. It was facing me, a 1956 beautiful wheat scent, minted in Philly. We'll take it, and as a side note, I am finding a lot of cool toned copper scents. I don't know if I'll keep them, and the camera's not picking up some of the cool toning on them, but definitely, definitely worth a second look. So, wanted to show you those. Let's get back to the hunt. Very next roll, roll 32, and I can't believe we're gonna have back-to-back -back rolls with a wheat scent. Let's take a look at this one. 44 Denver, let's check for that 44 D over S. And I know it looks like there's something above the D and below it, but that is not the 44 D over S. But it is a 1944 Denver minted wheat scent, and it is the oldest of the box. Roll number 36. Wheat scent number five. And according to Bo, he's getting about five per box. So we're at the average and it's another 52, but this one Denver. Three 52s, a 56 and a 44. Five wheat cents found through 36 rolls. Roll 38, fourth coin in, another wheat scent. And this one's a 36 and I can't tell if there's a mint mark or not. There is no mint mark. And in 1936, there is a DDO, double die obverse, on the date. And those numbers look a little thick, but I think it's just from being worn in circulation. But I do want to just double check everything. Everything looks a little bit thicker than it's supposed to, but sometimes on Wheat Sense, they look like that. I don't see any of the markers. You'd have a higher notch on the one. Splitting on the 9, 3, and 6. It looks like it's just been flattened. Anyway, oldest of the box now and number 6. So we're not doing too bad considering we expected 5 or less. But I will say, I thought I'd find some more variety so far. Maybe a 2000 or a 98 wide AM. I've seen a lot of those praying for a 92 close AM. A lot of 84s have been scoped. 94s have been scoped. 83s have been scoped. No varieties yet. Let's keep looking. We have 12 rolls left after this one. Well, roll 41 is going to be a dandy because I think I see two wheat cents. We've got another 52D and a 44. We have both those years already found, and it seems like the box that has multiple of the same years, but I will take it because that is wheat cent number seven and wheat cent number eight. Roll number 43, and I heard something odd, and I thought it was this Canadian, but it's not. It's a dime. <laughs> We've got our second dime, and this might be a metal detecting find. Either way, it's a Philadelphia 2000-something. We'll add it with the other dime and look for more good finds. Well, we finished that customer-wrapped rolls box of probably 50% copper. That's all the copper from the box. That's all the zinc. 50-50, and there was some shield scents that I found in the hunt. So a few more newer dates than expected. There was actually about four or five rolls that had about 50% shield scents. Maybe they were just filler rolls to get the full box. Either way, a better than average expected wheat scent hunt because we did get eight. Nothing really that old. The oldest find of the box was a beat up 1936, not the DDO. We did find two dimes, so I'll take that. There was actually four 09s in the box. Again, we had some modern pennies, so it was nice to see some 09s. We ended the hunt with a grand total of 23 Canadians. The coolest of the Canadian finds was the bird scent right there, the Rock Dove 1967. We'll take that. 
We got 10 1959s, none of them were the RPMs or DDOs. Two 1969Ss, neither of which was the DDO. My favorite two finds of the box are the Stunners 1984s. They're so nice that I'm gonna check them against my album. It would have been awesome if one of them would have been the double deer, but we couldn't find that. Matter of fact, it was a tough variety hunt. Not one variety found in all of that copper or the more modern ones. I wasn't expecting necessarily to find a variety, but with scoping so many coins, I was hopeful that I could. We didn't, but that's coin row hunting. I had a lot of fun hunting them anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed this customer wrapped rules box. I do want to thank Bo Palmer for the trade. You provided me with a great afternoon hunting some copper cents. If you did enjoy the hunt, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.